Hi guys, Shema Polot here again. Welcome to this week's video. This week I want to talk about budgeting, okay? So this channel is called Work-Life Balance and I am very much interested in the intersection between the human experience and technology. And so everything that I do, you know, might be a life thing, but I'll tend to attach some sort of technology to it. I want to talk to you about what I do to budget, but also what tools I use to budget. That's also how I've managed to sneak Excel into this video as well. Okay. But yeah, but so I wanted to show you very briefly what I use to budget and uh, how you can set something up really quickly using Excel or using Google Sheets and track your expenditure and your income so that you can be a productive human being and maybe not waste all your money. All right. But number one thing, the first principle that I follow is I use something called the Jewish star principles, which my uncle told me about like maybe 10 years ago. Okay. And the Jewish star principles is five things. It's tithe. If you're a Christian like me, then that part is important. There's tithe, there's save, there's invest, and there's offer, and there's spend. Those are the five things, okay? Um, tithing is 10% of every increase. And so every single amount of money I get, even if someone just like calls me tomorrow and says, hey, Shem, here's 500,000 Uganda shillings. I'm going to tithe, I'm going to save, invest, offer, and spend that 500,000 shillings, okay? So tithe is 10% of your increase, save 10%, offer 10%, um, what am I missing? Invest 20% and spend 50%. That's the rule that I use for my expenditure. Obviously this, this varies from person to person and you never know what, I don't know what your financial situation is like, so it might be a bit different for you. You might want to save a bit more and spend a little bit less you can tweak those percentages but just make sure you're always in the very least if you can saving at least 10 percent of your income tithing at least 10 percent of your income investing at least 20 percent of your income if you can that's a tricky one there and uh offering offering is basically uh, my uncle always told me that there's a little piece of the money that you earn that you should just give out to someone give it out to anyone that needs it without expecting it in return so i also take 10% of what I earn, give it out. Whether it's I buy someone flowers, whether I pay for someone's lunch, or I buy drinks for someone, but I have that little line item in my budget that's dedicated to just giving out some of that money. And when you give, you receive. So it almost always comes back, multiply it. Um, not that you should give, so that you should receive, but um, you know what I mean. Otherwise, let's get into it. Let's look at the sort of like Excel sheet that I create and show you how I can use it um, to track my money. Let's go. All right, so I set this sheet up like this. I put the total income here and the budget amount and then the Jewish star principles are here. And like I said, tithe, invest, save, offer and spend. And so this is what they look like. So 10% tithe, 20% invest, 10% save, 10% offer and 50% spend. Okay, so um, I created this like hypothetical scenario here of my income. I mean, these, these here, I would love to make 500,000 from YouTube a month. That would be great. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share so that maybe this happens soon. All right. But so, yes. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this total income and add it in here. So I'm just going to use the sum function to add that. Actually, instead of going with that range, I'm just going to take the whole B range in case I get additional income from other sources. Okay and then add it there like this. So I think I already put the formatting in there so it has changed to shillings to UGX. Otherwise, to change that format, you would come to number and you do Uganda shilling right there, okay? Okay, and then for expenses, again, customize it to whatever this means to you, but I might just put just a few to illustrate. So food, transport, rent. I don't know where you can rent for 150,000 Uganda shillings, but let me convert this format to to UGX as well. So for the Jewish star principles, okay, so the amount that we're going to tithe comes from the income, okay? So what I do is I take this figure here and I multiply it by the income and I fix that with FN and F4, okay? And then the autofill gives me the options. So just hit control enter to fill all that out, okay? so. It will always compute 10%, 20%, or 50% of this figure. And then the budget amount, uh, let me just delete that so you see how I get that. The budget amount comes from the amount for spending. So the amount dedicated to spending is essentially my budget for the month, okay? So what I do is I just come inside here for budget and I do equals and I do that cell and I lock that cell, FNF4. 
like that. Whatever amount of money I'm earning in that month, my budget amount is that, okay? Next, I want to figure out how to handle my expenses, okay? So the expenses, again, you, re you record them in the same way. I just have it really quickly on expenses and amount really easily, or even depending on how you record your expenses, you may want to add a category so that you can lump up everything. That's if you're recording your expenses as individual items. So maybe you get a receipt and you put oranges here, right? If you use very specific items within your budget for expenses, then you would need a category that says maybe oranges, classify oranges as food or as groceries okay and the reason why that would be important is because you may want to graph these later just to show you how much money you're spending on those specific things and if you have too many unique items in your expenses your graph will look way too complex and so your categories will help you sort of bunch them up together so you can know you're spending so much on fuel or so much on transport or so much on miscellaneous or drinks or eating out like some people i know so to calculate these expenses i just do equal sum tab and again i want to get from this cell all the values in that cell um to f to get the entire column as you can see that again this is happening in google sheets in excel you would just convert the table to a special excel table by just selecting all that and, and pressing ctrl t However, this feature isn't in, in Google Sheets, but I tend to use Google Sheets for things like this because everyone in the world can use it as long as you have an internet connection. While Excel, you may not have a bootleg version or Excel might be too expensive and things like that. So it really just depends, but I'm happy to do the Excel version as well if you want. But just convert always, every time you have tables like this in Excel or for income like this, always convert them to a special Excel table by using Control T because that way the table updates automatically and you don't have to do this like range thing that we're doing here in Google Sheets. Okay. In Excel, you would just do the sum function and then you would just come and tell Excel, add everything up in that column. Okay. And as the table expands, the value in this box will update automatically. It's really cool. Try it. If you don't understand, let me know and I'll clarify. I will also probably talk about it a little bit in my blog, just so you understand what I'm saying in case there's any confusion with that. But okay, so now I have the expenses here like that, okay? The next thing I want to do is I need a way to track how much I'm spending um, just to make sure that I don't go over this budget. In the budget tracker, I create a formula that takes my budget amount and let me just lock that cell with FNF4 and subtracts it from the expenses. Okay, let me lock that as well, FNF4. Okay, so that gives me this value, let me just change the font to Arial as well so everything looks like a new, nice and uniform. Make that 12. Um, so now I know that I've spent 750,000 Ugandan shillings out of a possible 1,950,000. ,000. And so I know I have 1.2 left to spend. Okay. Now I want to use an if formula so that it can tell me whether I'm within the budget, over the budget, really pushing my limits something like that okay so i'm going to start with a very basic if, if formula then show you how we can put an if formula inside an if formula which is called a nested if formula to give us multiple options of things to say i'm going to explain what that means really quickly just watch okay so we start with with if okay so what i want to check is to make sure that this number okay if it is greater than or equal to one hundred thousand, let me say that's the limit like once we get to to 100,000 left to spend, okay, will be in tricks. So value if true, so less than or equal to 100,000. It's less than or equal to 100,000. We want Excel to tell us that we are, uh, let's say within the budget. Actually, wait, let me know. Let me do something that makes a lot more sense. Let me just do greater than zero. Let me lock the cell. If this value is greater than zero then let's say that we are within budget okay if it's less than zero let's say we are over budget okay like that okay so now what we can do is we can add conditional formatting to make it a bit uh, cooler so then we can say let me start with this number. Let me go to format and then we can make it such that. So got format sales rules and then we can say if this figure is greater than 
0 then let it be green and bold okay and then let's add another rule and let's say if this figure is less than 0 then let it turn red let's make it bold like that okay and uh, we can do the same for the within the budget and over budget we can say we can do custom formatting again conditional formatting rather and this time we can do text contains and let's say whenever it says within budget sorry let me just change that within budget uh, let's just make the text uh, let's make the text green okay I want there to be no background in this case uh, that text is a bit light make it a bit darker and bold it then add another one text that contains so let's do over budget and let's make that nice and red because that should be scary news and we press OK. All right. So now let's test and see if it's working. Okay. Um, so I could add expenses here manually, but let me just like change this figure from from here. Okay. So what if our expenses were two million? We see what happens. Okay. So the, it changes automatically to minus fifty thousand, which is over budget. So we know that we're over budget by fifty thousand. Okay and otherwise everything else that is below below that is within budget okay so i want us to maybe make our if function a bit more a bit more nuanced okay so what if we want a pre alert before the over budget maybe let's say like when we get to 100,000 uganda shillings let's change the colors a bit to just know that we are about to get over our budget okay so we're going to do what we call a nested if formula. So I'm going to get a whole if function and put it inside this if function that we have, okay? And again, it might look complicated, but the if function works as long as you understand where you are, which argument you are in specifically, okay? So let's go step by step, okay? So our current if function there is if this value in H4, right? If that value here, is greater than zero then it is within budget okay so all the figures from zero upwards are catered for in the value if true okay as you can see it's bolded there in the value if true which is within budget then all the values that are below zero oh, sorry about that all the values that are below zero are catered for in the over budget in the over budget which is in the value if false okay so now i want to add a way for us to check the, if the values are between like zero to to one hundred thousand i want excel to tell us we're almost there okay something like that so that's the value if false because all the values that are above zero are within this value if true this is where i want to insert another if function that checks whether we are getting to a scary like r range here where we need to watch how much we spend okay i've highlighted within budget and that's where i'm going to write another if function open the bracket okay so as you can see excel is opening a whole new if function and again the arguments that it takes are the same you, as long as you remember where you are you don't have to worry about the, what you're looking at if this value here and let me fix that again with fn f4 if that value is let me say if it is less than or equal to let me say 150,000 let let that be a uh, our limit okay less than or equal to 150,000 okay which means essentially from 0 to 150,000 because of where we are in the big if function we are in the within budget which is all the figures from 0 upwards if we say less than or equal to 150,000 we we're really talking about all the figures from 0 to 150,000 okay yes so i want to say if that value is less than or equal to 150,000 i want you to return uh let me say scary hours 
that's the value if true. Then for the value if false, we would now need to figure out what to add in there. Okay, now the value if false contains all the values from 150,000 and upwards. So we can just say, let me write keep spending player. Okay, right? So then let me close that bracket. And you see, once I close that bracket and I move to the right, we are now back in the value if false for the bigger if function. You see that there? Okay, so I press enter and now you see 150,000 is carry hours. And now let me just go to conditional formatting and I want to add another rule and I want to say for text that contains scary hours, I want that to be orange. Let's say orange. Let me remove that. Let me bold it. Okay. Okay. Let me leave that there. Okay. And then for this, I want to change this as well to include so value greater than yeah so we can leave this there we can alter this figure such that we can say okay if we wanted to also change for values from zero to one fifty thousand so we can say is between so let's say zero and let's say one fifty thousand okay and we can make those green sorry orange make that background And we can add that there and as you can see it hasn't changed yet that's just because of the ranking of the of the conditional format so let me just move this up there and as you can see i move it up there so i'm just telling excel prioritize that first then everything after that all right what if we spend one point seven you see there we have keep spending player Oh, I can also, I forgot about keep spending player. I can also go in there and, and add a rule for that. Text contains. Where is that? There we go. And I can make that text green as well and bold it. I don't want any fill. And there we go. All right. Let me just merge this. It's looking a bit ugly. Let me merge that. Okay. All right. So if we go, so now I think our budget is ready. If we go over, then we are over budget. If we go close to over, we are in scary hours because 150,000 is close to the boundary. And if we, you know, haven't spent anything, the month has just begun, you haven't yet squandered your money on some concert, then we are in keep spending player territory. Okay. So yes, so that's how you can use the if function to create some sort of budget system that can help you keep track of your things. So ideally what you will do, so all you would have to do once you set up, once you set all this up, is you just have to come in here every month and enter the amount of income you have whenever the salary hits is when you would start doing this and then continue entering your income in here you know and you can see this from here if i add 50,000 for something right the figure changes to 3950 and everything changes i think you see that okay if i add 2 million let me add 2 million right you see there becomes five million this also changes to changes to five okay so all you would have to do and let me just delete that all you would have to do is only focus on your income and expenses okay same way here if you add more expenses you know this figure oh i didn't add the formula here so i should add the formula for this to f there we go 
yeah so such that if you keep adding figures here it should update and everything should subtract automatically so all you would have to do is focus on these two tables and you'd be able to track all your expenses this is a very basic like i've created this just right now um you can do a lot of cool stuff you can you can for example you may want to graph these items just so you can look at them right you can come here maybe you want to graph where your income is coming from and if you use option fn and f1 on the mac or alt fn f1 in excel on your mac on your pc it, you can create a graph really quickly like that and you could do the same here for your expenses All right you could just select that and uh, yeah you could have your expenses there so you can add a bunch of graphs if you want things to look a bit nicer you'd change this to expenses change that to income All right um, i'm not a huge fan of pie charts so i would probably change this to a bar chart like that I'd probably change these two bar charts like that okay I know maybe it's not as colorful but hey I really do not like pie charts because of how hard it can get to differentiate the different categories as the categories increase just a general rule of thumb also for using pie charts pie charts are, you should probably use them when you have two or three maximum categories anything more than that then you should probably just use a bar chart instead all right, well, that's it. So I would like to do another section where I actually have a finance expert, an investment expert on the show where we talk about things like cryptocurrency because there's all these things that I, I talked about the invest part of what I do. I do a lot of random investments in cryptocurrency and stocks and things like that. And maybe it would be valuable if I have someone on the show who is more experienced with this kind of thing that can take, take you through what that looks like and what options are available to you either locally in Uganda or internationally. And so, but right now this is just very basic how you can get started with budgeting how you can create your own system that works for you again we don't make the same amount of money we don't have the same life experiences and same lifestyle figure out what works for you but what's important is to spend less than you earn okay very basically and always try to save money otherwise see you next week thank you so much don't forget to like subscribe let me know in the comments what you think about what i created today any things i would add any things that you do differently some people have really com complex budgeting templates mine is really simple um it really is up to you otherwise see you next week thank you